So I'm going to demonstrate our ping pong ball blaster. And for this, what I'm using is a little single serving cup, fruit cup. You can also use one of these single serving yogurt, cup, yogurt cups. They work really good too. And you'll notice I filled it about half full of water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the momentum of this water when it collides with the ground to the ping pong ball, which will be in the cup of water. And you'll notice if I drop the ping pong ball from about chest height, it doesn't bounce very high, especially on carpet like this. But something really cool happens when we drop them together. And to, to help make sure this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swirl water in the cup. That's going to make the surface of the water into a bowl shape so that the ping pong ball will stay right in the middle and come out clean. And then I'm going to drop it straight to the ground. And you can see how high it blasted. Let's try that again. Again, about half full of water. Swirl it around so that the ping pong ball will stay right in the middle and then come cleanly out of the cup without hitting the sides for our maximum height. Put it in there, looking good. Drop it straight to the ground. And you can see how hard it hit the ceiling. one more time with our yogurt cup. And this works really well in a bathtub for obvious reasons, but also because the fiberglass is a real good surface for colliding. But surprisingly, this works just as good in grass. It's amazing. Like, I haven't found a surface yet that it won't work.